A video obtained by Canada's Global News shows Justin Trudeau in the early 1990s, wearing dark makeup on his face, raising his arms, laughing and making faces. The video from a Conservative Party source is the third instance of Trudeau in blackface to surface in just two days. Earlier, Time magazine published a photo of Trudeau at an Arabian Nights-themed party in 2001. And another photo showed Trudeau in blackface at a high school talent show. When pressed by reporters if other photos or videos existed, the Canadian Prime Minister said he couldn't be sure. I am wary of, of uh, being definitive about this because the uh, recent pictures that came out I had not remembered. Uh, and I think the question is, uh, how can you not remember that? The fact is, I, I, uh, I didn't understand how hurtful this is to people who live with discrimination every single day. The Canadian Prime Minister is in the middle of a tough re-election bid as he seeks a second term. As Trudeau's campaign scrambled to contain the fallout, his opponent, Andrew Scheer of Canada's Conservative Party, accused Trudeau of committing acts of mockery and racism. He was asked specifically if there were other incidences and he said that there was only one other incident. Now we know that there are at least three. And uh, a lie ba an apology based on a lie is not a real apology. Blackface has a painful and racist history, dating back to minstrel shows beginning in the United States during the mid-19th century. White people dressed up in blackface to entertain white audiences while mocking and demeaning African Americans. It's a history Trudeau says he didn't fully understand as a young man. He says he plans to stay in the race and that the Canadian people have a decision to make in October.